it's easy for us to recognize open intelligence as um, the basis of our own intelligence. If, if you stop thinking for a moment, like we had in the video just now, for a briefest moment, so we stop thinking for a moment, and then we, we recognize alertness, stability, clarity, the power to know. And in that moment, you know, all of our thoughts and emotions might come again. Like now, everything is coming back, you know. It's not that we are not having thoughts and emotions. And, and that's important to recognize that it's a very crucial key point to see that open intelligence is present there too. So open intel intelligence is inseparable from all of our thoughts and emotions, sensations, other experiences, people, places, things. We call it here data. Just to simplify everything in our own experience. So data is everything that we perceive and open intelligence at the basis at the basis and inseparable. So we don't think about it too much, but instinctively we just recognize that by taking short moments of open intelligence, repeated many times until it becomes continuous. And it becomes continuous because it's already the case. But when we take short moments of open intelligence, and that means allowing everything to be as it is, you know, allowing everything to be as it is. Like, whatever you're experiencing right now, you simply allow it to be as it is. Um, for example, not avoiding whatever you think, not replacing your sensations or thoughts, not indulging into stories. You allow the train of thoughts to remain as it is. And you recognize open intelligence at the basis of that. So there is nothing to witness, although at the beginning it might seem that we are like a cat watching a mouse, you know, like we are open intelligence watching all the data streams. But that's just briefly at the beginning it seems like that, but then when we test the short moments of open intelligence, you come to see that it's actually inseparable. There is nothing to witness or to observe or to do anything about your data streams because it's inseparable. You are open intelligence. We all are open intelligence. <coughs> so even if it doesn't make sense at the beginning for us, with our openness, with our great power and openness, we learn to, to train that up here at, at, in, in the balanced view. We have a support structure for that. And we call it the four mainstays. And, and, and we call it also the four mainstays lifestyle because it's, it's really so many people around the world now recognizing themselves as powerful human beings by training their up open intelligence in their everyday life. That's what we want, actually. You know, in all of our relationships with ourselves, with other people, and, and in our life, if we have kids, if, if not, if we are married, if not, you know, everything we are doing in our jobs, career, we, we have the four mainstays lifestyle. And it's, it's um, it's the education in the nature of mind program, which elicit and evoke open intelligence on the fly, always, ongoing, 24-7. So the Four Mainstays Lifestyle, we have um, what I shared with you earlier, it's short moment, the practice. Whenever you remember to do so, short moments of open intelligence. And if you don't remember, that's fine, you know? But whenever you remember, even once a week, once a day, today, you can test when you remember short moments of open intelligence. Allow things to be as they are. Rest naturally. Rest naturally. You see, so then, then just to have that permission to allow yourself to be as you are completely. With everything you think or feel. And tap into open intelligence power of benefit to all. So that's the practice of short moments available to us. Always. And, and, and then we have the, the trainings, the trainings and the media that is available to everyone around the world, 7 billion people. Just to click, to go to the website and to listen to videos or, or watching talks, reading books. And, and everything that you will read, everything that you will hear, you will see it in your own experience. You see that. Like for me, I, I didn't need to believe anything. I was really empowered from the first moment to test it in myself, to see how it works for me. So that's what I liked about it. 
You know, that it's always about my own empowerment, my own experience, not something that I need to put myself into. Someone's life experience, trying to be someone else. I did it for so many years, I didn't want to do it anymore. So empowered from the first moment, and this is the four mainstays will empower you completely. It's a life of complete empowerment in every single moment. That's what we share with everyone. And, and many people will share with you the same, that it works, it works. You come to the trainings, you meet people just like you, relying on open intelligence, powerful people, being of benefit to all, regardless of thoughts and emotions. You know, people just like all of us, relying on open intelligence and regardless of circumstances, being of benefit to all. You see, that's complete empowerment environment. So this is the second mainstay. The third mainstay is, is the trainer. The trainers are available for us always in the open meetings like you come here. And at the trainings on clarity calls, we have also online trainings in the balance view. And then you can just call in, listen to so many community members around the world and share your experience, ask questions, listen to trainers, people that went before and 100% committed to the benefit of all. This is the mission of Balanced View. The aim you ask, the benefit of all, being of benefit to all in all circumstances. So a, a trainer will support you in that. As after completing the 12 empowerments, you have the opportunity to have a personal trainer that will empower you always, you know, always. I, I just feel so empowered and grateful for my relationship with my trainer. You know, seeing that always there is someone there. And sometimes, in a very skillful means, skillful ways, staying up my data streams. And, and sometimes just resolving my data streams, but always empower me to see my own ability to be of benefit to all, regardless of anything I'm having right now or, you know, in my life. That's in all of my relationships, thinking about my trainer, it's done, you know, it's resolved completely. It's empowering, you know, it's empowering relationship. And um, yeah, so I'm very grateful for that. And then community, community, like I said before, all of us, you know, amazing people. We are amazing people, amazing human beings. We have the knowledge of the universe in a usable, in a usable way. We, we can use all the tools we have, you know, all of our gifts and talents for the benefit of all in every single moment. And how do we do that? It's, it's natural to us. It's very natural to us to be of benefit. It, it, it's, when we think about the knowledge of the universe, we think maybe we're going to fly, you know, maybe we're going to do some magics here, something that will be really special. But the benefit of all, that's the most amazing power we have as human beings. That goes beyond all magics. You know, that's the most powerful means to be of benefit to all in every single moment in our life, daily life. That's what we live, our daily life. Right? So we want to be powerful there. We want to harmonize relationship there. We want to be of benefit here, now, in every moment, with everyone around us, with the family, with friends. We want to be of benefit. We want to live our life in a beneficial way. So, so that's the knowledge you see when you're not collapsing into data streams, when you rely on open intelligence instead of collapsing into data streams, trying to avoid, replace, or indulge then you see that you are completely available to know, to know everything that will be of benefit. That's the skill of open intelligence. You just know, you just know what to say, what to do, how to act, but in a very natural, loving way, heartfelt way, in a way that communicates with people, you know, in a way that, that is just uh, very ordinary yet very powerful. So, so that's the knowledge we have. That's the knowledge of the universe and practically finding solutions that will be of most benefit to all. Like we have so many problems around the world, but now we will learn to see only solutions with open intelligence. That's what I see in my own experience. It's like I'm not anymore collapsing into problems. It's, it's just um, we're taking short moments of open intelligence. I just see it right there. I can empower myself right now, rely on open intelligence. Rely on the four mainstays and 
provide solution that will be of most benefit. In the moment, in the moment when you feel afflicted, when you feel angry, you know, when you feel jealous, in that moment you can be of great benefit. Relying on open intelligence, you don't need to stop yourself. It's actually the opposite. You expand completely to see and to feel totally yourself as you are. You take jealousy all the way. <laughs> you take jealousy all the way. You take sadness all the way. You take anger all the way, hatred all the way. But you rely on open intelligence. You see, that's your great power to be of benefit. Might you have all kinds of sensations, emotions, thoughts. But that is fine too, because moment by moment you allow it to be. You feel the dynamic energy of open intelligence. But this dynamic energy is the beneficial energy. It's only of benefit to all. Inexhaustible beneficial power. Inexhaustible beneficial power in your speech, in your actions, always with you, with people around you, an example of benefit, with your kids, with your children, with your partner or friends, yourself, yourself completely empowered, completely of benefit there, right there. So that's why I, I, I saw that I don't, I, I don't want to stop with my own data, 100% committed to allow an open intelligence in the four mainstays. You know, it, it's it's, um, it's a, a clarifying energy, the four mainstays. It's like everything is clear, everything is seen. Like you understand everyone. You can speak to anyone, no one is a stranger anymore. And you feel that you are real, you know, you feel like in reality. I felt many times so fake. You know, trying to be someone, trying to be compassionate, trying to be open, trying to be loving. But then I saw it's the qualities of open intelligence. We have nothing to cultivate. We don't need to cultivate any, any, anything. You know, so everything is selfless. All of our data are selfless. You see that I, I, I always like the metaphor of the rainbow in the sky. Well, it's, so, it's so colorful. It has so many colors. It's so beautiful. If we look at the sky here, maybe we don't see rainbows. But we can imagine one right now. And, and if we go to the sky, th there is no rainbow actually, right? But it seems so vivid. It seems so real. But that's the power of open intelligence. All of our data streams, all of our thoughts and emotions are great power to be of benefit. I mean, I see it now so, like, more and more every day in my life. Everything I took myself to be. All of the things that I used to avoid seeing my, in seeing myself, seeing in myself. Now I don't need to, to do it anymore. There's such a relief, such a relief there, you know, to be exactly as I am. I'm trying to change myself, to be someone else. And, and, and be completely just at ease and... Just so it is, you know, so um, empowered with the Four Mainstays with me. Seeing everything, avoiding nothing. Seeing everything clearly, shining, shining with benefit. All of the worst things I wanted to avoid seeing about myself, now I see it holds great power to be of benefit. And it fuels, it fuels your speech in a way that you will be of benefit because you let it settle. You let it be as it is. You're not letting go. Don't need to give up your ideas about yourself. So this is the distinction between letting go or surrender. Because then you're only doing something, even subtly there, right? So when accepting, letting go, no need to do that. Allowing it to be, allowing it to flow on by, allowing it to flow on by. See, nothing stops us from being of benefit. We, 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 we hold this knowledge to be of benefit. That's an amazing way to live. So the four mainstays available to us. I'm so happy for that. Everyone deserves that kind of lifestyle, which is empowering. 
doesn't mean that you need to change your life now, but you implement that in your everyday life. 